Hey guys, this is a uh, video. This is going to be the updated Guardian vid after the uh, June 23rd uh, traits and skills patches. Alright, so let's start with the armor and stuff real quick. Armor is going to be full soldiers with trooper runes. We're always going to be keeping our trooper runes for the con removal. It's awesome. Uh, the trinkets are going to be half soldier and half zerk trinkets. Right here, as you can see. Uh, the stats are going to be as follows. Two, 2,400 power, 3,100 blah, blah blah armor, 20 almost 22k HP right here. With the world buffs, it's going to get near 23. Uh, crit chance of 30% and crit damage of 161%. I do have food, so nourishment is precision, and the other the food is going to be power precision. You can go with uh, life steal. It's pretty good too. Okay, the traits. These are going to be the baseline traits. Uh, we expect most guardians to run these traits. They give they're pretty much optimized for the Hammer Guardian. Uh, Valor is going to be 1, 2, 1. So we're going to be Strength of the Fallen, um, Loose Conditions at a set time interval. Heal um, health, uh, you lose l uh, less health while downed. Alright, so every 10 seconds you lose a condition. It's the best choice out of the first three for the most part. You do have Focus Mastery, but we don't use Focuses again. That's for the Zerk, Guardians, GS, Meta, crap. Uh, next one is Courageous Return, uh, Rechargers, you don't need, uh, really don't really need that, but it's a, uh, it's a minor, so it's, it's in your bar. Next one is going to be Strength in Numbers, or Communal Defenses, it's up to you. Uh, grant Aegis to allies when you block an attack, that means when your Aegis blocks an attack, your, uh, your, your auto-applied Aegis every 20 seconds from your Virtue Courage. When that blocks an attack, you give Aegis and a radius of 360 uh, to allies. I take Strength in Numbers, right now, you can change it either or. Uh, if you have two guardians, yeah, one takes strength and one takes communal, or you both take communal for that crazy Aegis spam. Last one but not least is going to definitely be your altruistic healing. You're going to need this for survival. I'll explain this in a little bit, but it's super freaking buffed right now. Alright, next one is going to be honor. Honor, vigorous precision. Vigor when you deliver a critical hit, 50%. Um, endurance regeneration. Uh, it's a 50% uh, uptime for the most part, since 10 second recharge, 5 second duration. Uh, this, that's going to save your life. That extra evade will uh, help you out. Next up is going to be Shield of Absorption. Uh, not really keen on these traits. I mean, you can take Symbol of Protection when you take Fall Damage. It's reduced. There's some stages in Fractals that, you know, you fall. Like Die Stage, poof. Uh, it'll keep you alive for the most part. Other than that, I would go with Shield of Absorption since people tend to go down and you do give these buffs. Next one is going to be Minor Trait Selfless Dallying, and, uh, end of your dodge roll heals. That's there, it's going to be there. Okay, next one. Alright, two big ones. Honorable Staff or Empowering Might. Yes, Empowering Might is the better of the two. You're going to take this. Uh, Honorable Staff, you can switch to this while you're not fighting mobs. And or you want like that a quick Empower Spam or the Swiftness. So I'm going to put Honorable Staff, cast uh, Staff 3, Symbol Swiftness, and go back to Empowering Might. That's how that's how we're gonna roll. All right, period of body don't really need that. Um, yeah, your virtue of uh, resolve gives endurance, 15% regeneration. That's pretty good too. It's it's gonna be a minor trait, so it's always there. Last but not least, it's going to be rid of persistence. Uh, your symbols last longer, heal, and ha have a dura duration increase, uh, have a radius increase of 600. Because all symbols are way way over big. That's really good because you're you're living. Your symbols are your life. You're giving protection, you're getting heals, and you're giving protection and heals to allies. Uh, this is the best choice out of the three. Uh, pure voice, writ, or force. I really wish they put the other two in other bars so you can have you know, two of them, but you can only have one. Uh, the last but not least is going to be zeal, the zeal trait lion. So you have your symbol of wrath. When you take damage, um, when your HP is 50% or lower, you do give a symbol of wrath. Six duration, does damage, poof. Um, next one is going to be Fury Wrath. Increase 7% more damage to mobs that are burning. That works wonderfully with Ellie's in your team or Virtue of Justice. So you're almost always doing plus 7% more damage. Next one is Meyer Trait, symbol, Symbolic Exposure. Your symbols give vulnerability. And since you almost have permanent symbols on the floor, you're going to give vulnerability to mobs. Uh, I think it's like a 2 to 3 vuln cap due to you know symbols, but either way, it helps. Alright, next one is going to be, uh, not that one. Shoot. 
I'm guessing Blinding Jeopardy since you do have Hammer. Um, this there's not really none of these traits really work well with Hammer Guarding except for Binding Jeopardy. Uh, immobilizing or blinding foes applies vulnerability to them, so that's your Hammer Three right there, Zealot's Embrace. And that's about the only use for that trait. And uh, symbolic power is pretty good since you are a Hammer Guardian. Your symbols will do 10% more damage, and uh, have 33% chance to burn them, which in turn gives gives you plus 7% damage on those mobs when they are burning. All right, next one is going to be Symbolic Avenger. They nerfed this hardcore. I mean. When they first came out with it, it was a 20% damage increase. Now it's only 10, but again, 10% damage does go out a lot. Uh, we're looking for some big numbers from our Hammer Guardians. They are super tanks, after all, and the old builds and uh, the old setups had them around four to 5,000 DPS. That's with less than 1,900 power base. Right now, we're running around 2,400 power base, so you know, stand by to see some big numbers while keeping your team alive, basically face tanking bosses. And that's about it for this Guardian setup. Um, any new builds or setups or uh, optim optimizations will be uh, recorded. So let's go to the traits, I mean utilities. Uh, heal's always going to be uh, Receive the Light. Well, it used to be Healing Breeze, now it's Receive the Light. Uh, it's going to heal your team and yourself. It's a good 4,500 uh, heal to yourself and the team. Uh, you're always going to have Retreat on your bar. We do not have... Um, Superior Aria anymore, so the shouts do have their full uh, recharge cycle, but that that shouldn't uh, hinder you from giving Aegises. And then, well, the main thing is you want retreat on your bar. Everything else is optional, uh, and you can change them around. Like radiation field for the Asuras, Bane Signet for a little bit more power. That'll spike your power up to 2,624 while maintaining your uh, tanky capabilities. Or you can put your Signet Judgment on there for 10% less damage going into you to be more tanky. Alright, the elite. It's either one or two for your elites. Ooh. Alright, so it's either gonna be the I'll have to read this later. Uh Feel My Wrath, which is a five second quickness, uh topped off with ten seconds of fury. Uh, that's a lot of good uh that's a lot of good buffs, especially if you uh, add that to the Warriors for Good Justice, maintain that fury is uh is a must for the team since the critical rates, critical chances of almost all the classes went down a little bit due to the um, your traits not affecting um, you know, your stats. That or your renewed focus, 90 second uh, cooldown, 3 seconds of uh, invulnerability and you get that second age of spam. So it's one of those two. I'll have to read up on Signal of Courage but it looks like a good elite. Uh, 800 heal to allies every 10 seconds, that's not a lot. Uh, there's better stuff out there. Uh, it is it is a good... The fact is actually pretty good. Um, fully heals all allies. Um, 1,000 range... 1,200 range of you. You wouldn't need it for the most part since you are tanking and you only really have to worry about yourself. The team will not be taking much damage. So I think you're better off with Feel My Wrath for those uh, very big... Um, you know. Uh, Zerk spikes at the f uh, at the beginning of the uh, fight and to ma help maintain fury and quickness of the team. And that's about it for this setup. Again, hammer, staff are your uh, weapons. And we'll be switching off. Maybe we'll check longbow out once the uh, specializations or masteries or whatever this uh, comes out for Guardian, the Dragon Hunter.